So here I am at the local pick and pull. I've got some donor vehicles that are gonna help me out with my project misused. For one, the steering. I need a steering box that goes on the outside of the frame rail to give me a longer throw over to the passenger knuckle. That's gonna be the Nissan Xterra for the steering box. However, one of the things that I need is a little bit longer fitment arm length than what the Xterra provides. So I was looking at a bunch of different options and one of them is to swap a Grand Cherokee steering shaft from a 99 and 2004 WJ. That'll give you the different spline for a Jeep Pitman arm and a lot more options. Here I found one of the Xterras. I'll show you why this is a holy grail for people doing solid axle swaps or the old Ford Bronco power steering conversions. Let's take a look inside first. You can see that the steering box mounts to the outside of the frame. So that's a plus right there. Let's take a look underneath. So you've got that extra few inches for the drag link. We have the box mounted on the outside. For the Bronco fans, you're able to get that power steering assist when it didn't have it before. It's still got a reverse throw. Strength-wise, it's got four bolt mounting. If you're just considering like a Toyota box, it only has a three mounting. A little bit better. And I will need the steering column sector shaft. I'll be pulling that and keeping it. pull this one off. I'm not, I don't need to take it with me, but we can compare the Grand Cherokee side by side. These are 19 millimeter, and then we've also got a nut on the back side. Yeah. We've got the box out. Let's go ahead and get the other one out and compare them. Here I did find myself Grand Cherokee WJ, the steering box down in here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this box out. Looking underneath, right here we've got sector shaft that's going to allow us to run a different arm. And one of the things I need about an inch more drop than what the Nissan box provides. And this already in its stock configuration is just about an inch lower than the Xterra and just a tad longer too. So this might be exactly what I need, just complete plug and play. But uh, if not, we'll end up building our own arm, take that spline sections uh, of the Pitman arm for the sector shaft and we'll cut that out and make a new arm with it. But at least we'll start with taking this box out, swapping the shafts out and see where we're at with that. So let's go ahead and get started removing this thing. These four bolts, they're 18 millimeter. I got lucky somebody's already cut the steering shaft to the column and also disconnected the end of the Pitman arm. So pull these bolts out and we'll get that box going. One of the best investments I ever made was a cordless impact, especially for bringing it to the junkyard. Let's go ahead and try and pull this steering box out. There we've got it. So you can see on the Xterra box, it's going to be nearly identical, just a mirror image. So this bolts to the inside of the frame rail. Four bolts. These are actually threaded into the housing where the Nissan Xterra's are just through bolts. Steering shaft, from what I understand and what I've read, is about an inch longer, so that'll help a little bit too in having a little bit more drop. But we'll see, we'll go ahead and take this home, get it uh, cleaned up, get the shaft out of it, and check on our swap. Also, we'll work on a hydro assist tapping that Xterra box. So, at least right now, I've got my steering box, steering shaft, pitman arm, and even the, the drag link. A lot of good parts are here for project misuse, so we'll see how this plays out. Here I've got the Nissan Xterra behind me where I pulled my steering box from. I needed the steering sector shaft, so I've already grabbed that. I'm going to take it with me. I want to show you the comparison of the two different boxes, the Xterra and the Grand Cherokee. The Xterra box, and that's the Grand Cherokee box. Uh, these are going to be bolted on the outside of the frame rail here, so the driver's side outer, and this will be mounted over the driver's frame rail, but with the sector shaft being on the inside, the engine side. So if we take these and stand them up next to each other, we'll get some comparisons. So, you can see that the boxes are the same. They've both got the four bolt mounting and the four bolt mounting. The Xterra box has just a little bit uh, larger bolt and also it's a through bolt where the Grand Cherokee is threaded in. But one of the biggest differences you'll notice is the height difference from the sector shaft. It's longer on the Grand Cherokee, but then also your pitman arm length is a little bit longer. So if we lay these side by side, 
this way. You can see that the Grand Cherokee box sector shaft, let's get that out of the way. The Grand Cherokee sector shaft is a little bit longer. Also the Pitman arm has a little bit longer drop. So while the boxes are both Delphi uh, similar boxes, you're gonna get a longer drag length if you use the Xterra outside frame rail mounting. And you're gonna get a longer drop with the sector shaft and Pitman arm for high steer. So we'll need to just swap that sector shaft and the pitman arm over, and I'll do that later. Hope you enjoyed that video, watching the information about the Xterra and WJ Jeep steering boxes to be able to give you a little bit longer drag link for a solid axle swap, getting that outside frame rail mount. So stick around, like, subscribe, hit that bell for more good videos about projects misused, as well as some tips and tricks and tools. See you next time.